Well, good day. Welcome back to DCT CNC. So in today's video, I'm going to cover how to power up your machine, uh, how to turn it on, allow time to boot, uh, how to jog it around the table, how to jog the table around, and actually just get you comfortable with using the keyboard and what shortcut keys you need to use, etc. So let's get into it. Locate the mains power for your CNC machine and turn it on. The next step is to find the power switch which will turn on your transformers and activate the Maso CNC controller. Ensure the e-stop switch is pressed in before turning the power on. One thing you'll see with the Maso controller is how fast it can actually boot. Once the Maso CNC uh, control software is booted, it will display approximately three alarms. The first thing I need to do is um, enter the user password and press the button enter. In this case, mine has been deactivated, so just pressing the enter key will get rid of that. Using the enter key will get rid of the user password. Username password dialog box has now disappeared. What I need to do now is reset the e-stop. The e-stop alarm has now been removed and it's time to home the machine. What I'll do now is turn on my interior light and that should give us a bit more light inside the enclosure for you to uh, witness the homing sequence. We will proceed to home the machine now by using the control alt home keys and you'll notice that I'll be sending my machine all the way back and to the right hand side. Now this is opposite to the way I would home the Haas machine at work uh, in our school workshop uh, and there is a reason for this which I'll discuss later. You'll notice once the machine is home, it will do about a 5mm pull-off from the proximity switches. Now, in order to jog the Maso CNC controller around, you need to be in the F3 jog screen, which is shown here. F1 is set up, F2 is for programming to running MDI um, codes, F3 is for jogging. All right. F4 is your tools library, F5 is your wizards, and F6 is where you'd load G-code from post-processing from a file such, or from a uh, CAM software such as Fusion 360. Now in the F3 jog window, we can jog around the table using the arrow keys and the U and D key. The U key is obviously U for up and D key is D for down. Uh, left arrow and right arrow, etc. for X and the up arrow, down arrow for the Y. Now currently you'll see that it's in step mode and the incremental step is one. One means one millimeter. So by pressing the key, I can move it three millimeters as you've seen here. I come back now and you've got to make sure you depress the key long enough in order for the control to send the signal to the steppers or the servos. If you jog the machine rapidly about the table, you hold down the shift key and the arrow direction that you need to go in. So the Y axis would be the shift, the up and down arrows. To go down, shift D. To go up, shift U. Well that does it for today's video. I trust you found this um, tutorial interesting and helpful if you own a Maso CNC. Uh, ensure to come back to uh, episode 2 and I'll show you how to um, set all your tool offsets, how to set a work offset and uh, part 3 will no doubt show you how to post process and that sort of thing. So uh, thanks again for joining me. And